Hi lovely viewers, it's me again your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. This is the word of uh, the nation of Zambia, the country of Zambia, God is not with you. I am seeing calamity upon calamity in the country of Zambia. Some of you, because of what will come, you will go to even sell your own crops to sustain your life. Take note of it. I am seeing calamity in the country of Zambia. And whosoever who speak that things are okay, they are going to be in shame. You know what is happening. The Lord was spoken to say, Zambia I love. But the heart of men grow caught and turn against me from the eye authority up to the list. Everybody, they are busy chasing after the wind. Serve the Lord. You know what is happening in the heart of Zambia. Every entrance, there is the shrine that they built. I don't want to go into details. Or I don't want to any to speak more openly, but I want to tell you to say you have noticed at the center of Zambia there are shrines. In the entrance of Zambia, there are shrines that they have built. And uh, I am seeing no man of God. It bring the concern on what is to what is happening in the country of Zambia. It is because of those abominations. I want to encourage and tell the government plainly, refrain to these things that you are calling down drought. You compromise everything in the country of Zambia. You need to go back to court. You need to go back to God. You need to go back to God. Zambians, you need to go back to God. Nation need to go back to God. This is not drought. There is something somewhere which is not right. I know they know what I know. You want to use scientific yet you know what is happening. You need to go back to God. There is no two way about it. There is a calamity which is going to infect each and everybody. I am not saying that people should protest. I am not saying that people should go on the street to protest. No. We have only one Zambia. But what is going to happen? People are going to rise. So before the people rise, the government should come back to God. The government which think that the church should stand on the shoulder of government is that the government to stand on the shoulder of the church of Jesus or oh, Jesus Christ it will come to fall. Through the history of the creation of the world, every time the government failed to stand on the shoulder of Jesus Christ, they collapse. No matter how greatness it is, you need to understand that in the beginning, you declare somebody to be the Christian nation. So any stride mistake, you betray God as long as that covenant is still standing, the calamity will still come upon your family. 
calamity is coming. When the government neglect the voice of the prophets, that nation will going to be without direction. I know to the standard of what they know that men of God should look like that. We are not countable as prophets. But I want to tell you to say no leader who cannot who can lead the nation by physical. You need spiritual insight. You need to surround yourself with people who are spiritually equipped to see the future of your leadership. Zambia, you are adding to the terrible situation which you are going to fail to handle. It doesn't matter. Even if they can increase 99% of your salary times a billion at the end, you can have money, but you are not going to have food to buy. Hear to the voice of the Lord. Sure, you have money in your homes, but you will not have the food to buy. Your money will become so useless that you are going to beg just for somebody to give what you have. And then they give you something, little thing. Go back to God. I know you cannot like me. I know you can undermine me. I know, but I have the track record of what the Lord do upon my life. Watch and pray. If your business will not stand with God, it's going to collapse. Whatsoever business that you are doing in this nation, when it cannot stand with God, it will collapse. You are going to hear a lot of ships start disappearing. Hello, them disappearing. Goods, those ships which carry goods, they will start disappearing. So I urge my brothers and sisters who all other things stand with God. Stand with God. It's going to be a terrible situation. It can be tomorrow. It can be next month. It can be next next year. It can be three years from now. But it surely come to pass. The Lord said, I have tried to be the loving God. they now neglected me they could not hear my voice they could not obey my voice the crisis that you see that it, it is the crisis it is going to be intense in economical crisis those who are in contract, you are in company, some of you, you are going to lose your job. I'm going to tell you, we cannot now service you, we cannot now sustain you, the, the company is collapsing, what and what? Open your eye. Open your eye. Open your eyes. You need to understand that they are putting more measures about electricity. But I want to tell you that this issue, it can even go to 27. Take note of that. This issue, it can go even to 2027. If they compromise this moment, the Lord said they have put the shrine in every four corner of the country. 
of every house is not the bedroom. It is the sitting room. Because everybody who enters your house, they don't enter to your bedroom. They enter in your sitting room. So when you see in the country of Zambia, they are already putting the pillars which is not stand by the Spirit of God. But it is now Jesus. Can you hear me? Did you hear me? They have put in the slides. It look like the worshiping place. But they are they have nothing to do with what you believe in as the nation. So all the prayer in the country of Zambia does not be heard. They have compromised everything. Three years from now, so ever who jump up, up and down to say we are fathers in bed, they will stop jumping up and down. You are going to hear how a lot of Christians are going to be converted three years from now. Count this year to be the first year ahead of you. Everything where you can go to get employment, everything, even the food you eat, even the clothes you wear, they're going to be the one to sustain all the nation. So no matter how you call yourself, you are a father in faith, you are what, you are the president of what, that time will come and you are going to bow down before that system. They are preparing. They are preparing their money to put the money together. To put the money together. The more Christians you are fighting, them they are preparing. Put the money together. Is it the Christian who are controlling Kesia? If they tell you one day two years from now they tell you if you are not here if you not believe what you believe in you are not going to have the job where are you going to go mind you no any industry which produce soap which produce drink which produce car which produce what learned by any Christian show me any father in faith who have the company Where they are producing soap? Where are they are producing milk? Where are they are producing milk? These things is coming. Yet we are fighting one another. We are forcefully fighting one another. Instead to come together, build something that is going to sustain. Zambia should go back to God. These things is not to do with any, any man of God who can come. No matter who you want to receive, these things is to do with your nations. of the land should go back to God. The kingdom of God suffer violence and by violence we shall take it by force. If you are not going to rise and cry out to God, calamity is in you. Be careful even to give birth because one day you are going to 
watch your own children how they're going to be died with anger all right that's all right for you today lovely viewers if you did enjoy the video please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below i'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers once again i go by the name of mutatim pondum i love you peace i gotta go